hi welcome back to the channel thank you all my returning viewers uh, nice to have you here and welcome to anyone that's new I wanted to just go over today the remarkable definitions that I use in all my videos if you've watched a few of them and that tends to be how we view things these days doesn't it um, we I, I there is a couple of um, oh probably this is the biggest one let me just check my pencil case uh, I would like to be in grey, medium, uh, and just for a second because I want to point out. This is probably the one I've made up myself. The rest are words that Remarkable use. But the native notebook, let me just, I'm going to use the highlighter. The highlighter is really cool. I don't know if you have been, oh, where is it? There it is, highlighter. And the grey is probably the second darkest one, which I really love. So it looks dark now, but wait for it. It disappears and see how it's not so dark. Anyway, um, let me go back to the calligraphy pen. So the I the word native notebook for me, I refer to, if you can, can you see all the dots? This is a native notebook that I'm using. A native notebook, let's hop out of here and let me show you, is up the top here is either when you use the plus notebook or when you use the plus quick sheets you create a native notebook so let's just do a native notebook keep all the default settings and just tap create this is a native notebook in a native notebook you can go into the templates these are actually png files all right i'm going to talk about them in a minute and it's important that you understand that when you want to upload a template i use air quotes what a template really is, according to Remarkable, is a PNG file, okay? And they've got portrait and landscape versions. And I was using the dots because um, I like the dots. Um, but let me use something that perhaps you can see. Let's use the checklist. Maybe Can you see that? Perhaps you can see that better. Um, but what that is, is here in that layer is the template. Now I use the blank a lot as well, which means this would just look like a blank page, but it's actually a template, a PNG file that Remarkable have uploaded into your device. So let me, um, don't forget the document drawer up the top. Let's just go back to where we were, <clears throat> excuse me. So when I say a native notebook, I'm actually referring to you being able to, let's close that, create a notebook or create a quick sheet. Again, a quick sheet is exactly the same. It has a template already, which is a blank one. So if we go to the day planner, you can see that's a template, a PNG file that's already in your Remarkable that you are choosing to use as the layer underneath where you write. That's how layers work. Um, and they're native to the Remarkable. You can't get rid of them. You can't change them out. You can't delete them. They're always there. Um, it is at their decision what those templates, it's their decision what those templates look like. So when I say native, native notebook, I am referring to up the top, Again, just a visual, we learn visually as well as um, by listening. Plus notebook and plus quick sheets is a native notebook. What, is, what can be a regular notebook is when you upload, now Sudoku is uh, probably not the best example of that. Let us go to, let's go to a planner. This is a PDF planner, it's only six, it's 16 pages. Okay, this is also a notebook. The reason it's a notebook, let's have a look at the grid view, is because you can write in it. So it's a notebook, okay? But it isn't a native notebook because I've created this and I sell it on Etsy and you go and grab it and then you decide to, it's July, you decide to come in here and you decide to fill it out, right? So it's a notebook. You can make notes in here and do all the things. And that information will always be kept for you, but there are differences in how 
See how the background, see how there's no template availability? You can't go and grab a page, an, a PNG template that's native to this device. You cannot go and grab that and insert it in here. Uh, let me let me re-clarify. You can add a blank page to, you see here, it's just added a blank page. You can add a blank page to any PDF file. This is, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but this is a PDF file. All right, let me just hop out of, go back here. So a native notebook is a plus notebook plus quick sheet. That is, and it uses all the templates or PNG files that are available to you as default, by default in the Remarkable device. All right, quick sheet, the difference between really a quick sheet and a notebook um, is really you don't have the setup. That's the only difference. When you create a notebook, you have to do these default tabs and decide where you what the settings are. When you do a quick sheet, it puts you straight into a page and you don't have to decide those things. That's the only difference between a notebook and a quick sheet. All right, let's go back to um, our definitions. So we've done that one and we've done that one. A sleep screen and a notebook. So a sleep screen is a PNG file. And I think I'll make a note here. The native notebook uses PNG files. That's what the te templates are. The quick sheet uses PNG files. And it's, that's also good to know um, because this word, the reason I wanted to do this, this video is because this word, template, this word here, it, it is used interchangeably and that's why people get confused because people are using the word template for both PDFs and PNGs. And so they'll ask a question about a template, but what they're really doing is asking a question about a PDF. And so it can seem confusing because they're thinking, well, they may be thinking PNG, but they're really asking a question about a PDF. And so, and then sometimes they use the word document, but are they talking about PDFs or PNGs? And then if they use the word file, what exactly? So that's why I thought it would, it would help me in being able to help others if I could just define these and then I can also refer someone to this video to explain the difference between a PDF file and a PNG file. And there is a level of frustration around the PNG files. Remarkable is its own ecosystem, okay? Now, to be fair to Remarkable, Apple do this, Windows do this, um, uh, sorry, Microsoft, big pardon, do this. In fact, every programming company around, they have their own ecosystem, okay? That's just, that's just part of the deal. They do things a certain way. And yes, it feels restrictive because it's not easy to upload customised, <laughs> well, I say it's not easy, um, it's extra few steps and, and look, you have to pay for third party software and stuff if you're not a programmer that knows how to transfer data using programming language. If you don't know how to do that and access the file structure underneath that, then you, you're, you're going to need to pay someone to give you an app, you know, that's going to help you do that. So it, that is frustrating for, for some people. Um, but both of these, both the sleep screen and the notebook covers, they are PNG files. And I, I think I've explained that to you, but let me just, uh, in, in terms of understanding here, the template, let's just do the notebook cover for the moment. Again, when you, when you want to create a notebook cover for this, document that you're in just say you've got any page doesn't matter what page it is this is going to be your, your cover page and you want something with a puppy dog on it right what you the unless you draw it 
There's two ways you can do it. One, two. You can draw it on any page. So I could create, I could change this template to blank. There you go. I could draw a puppy dog. Look, it's been, a, it's been years. I don't think this is really a puppy dog. No, actually, this is probably more. Yeah, this is not a puppy dog, but let's just pretend. <laughs> let's just pretend that's a beautiful little puppy dog, right? You could draw yourself and that could be your page. What you would do when you go to your grid, you could press and hold. It's called a long press. You could move it to place before. And when you hop out of this document, <clears throat> it's actually back in my main file structure. Um, because I've got the setting, let's go to settings. And I've got it, uh, I'm going to put it to first page, save. So when I hop out of it, the first page is going to show up. That's going to be my cover page. And so you can create your own cover page and you can draw it. Or you can use something you uploaded. Something you uploaded and again you have to do it in here it has to be something you've installed into the template area and the only way to do that is by transferring it by file transfer protocol right which means you have to know programming or you get a third party app right so you either do it by file transfer protocol or a third party app because that's that's it that's the only way you can do it right now in the um, uh, remarkable ecosystem. That's it. Well, any remarkable, do one or two, doesn't matter. Um, all right, so that's the notebook cover. Sleep screen is exactly the same. As you know, sleep screen is when you close um, your document. Remarkable is sleeping. Um, that is a sleep screen. You can replace that with something of your own. Let me turn it back on. Um, you have to do that you can't do that from here you have to do that from your computer whilst the cord is um, connected down here you connect hard connection between this and your laptop or your computer and you have to have be able to go into your computer and go into the filing system in the back office the back end of remarkable and replace this is an image that's stored in your device you have to replace it and give it exactly the same name of what this is called i think this is called suspended i think i could be wrong but um there's a few of them there's restarting suspended there's crashed there's um they're the names they give it and if you want to replace that file you have to go into your computer connect it to your remarkable and say this is the new suspended file png right um so that's how that's what they are and that's how you do it and uh, we've already talked about pdf and pg png so i'll wrap it up here but that's i think understanding these definitions obviously my use of the term native notebook but um, understanding the two types of notebooks that you can create they're exactly the same one's quicker than the other that's it <laughs> Um, and then understanding PNG files, you can see they're all PNG files, which is where you can see the frustration and even the confusion can come from if you don't understand the difference of how Remarkable views a PDF file and a PNG file. Okay, and these are just words that we use interchangeably. But we do need to be more specific sometimes just so that we can get the answer we want on how to deal with both of those. PDF document, um, as we've just discussed, is here. It's something you upload. Really, any document that you've typed or that you're, even if you're reading it, when you upload it, it's a PDF. That's the other type of version. It is not. It does not exist. Cancel that. I, I accidentally tapped the... Um, the search. Uh, do I want to add a notebook? No, let me just get this. We were in here. This is a PNG file. All right, it looks like a 
it looks, it, we call it a notebook, but it's made up of PNG files. Whereas what I just showed you, let's go back to our quick tray, that is a PDF file. Make no mistake, that is a PDF file. So let me, let me just open the document drawer. Might be easier to just show you there. This quick sheet, that is a PNG file. It is a notebook, but it's made up of PNG files. That's a, P that's, um, a notebook also, but it's made up of PNG files. This is a, P is a notebook. You can call it a notebook a planner, but it's a PDF file. It is made up of PDF. It is a PDF file. It is not made up of PNG files. And that's the difference between them. So this notebook made up of PNG files. This, one, this notebook is a PDF and you can slide through on your document drawer. Um, and I could go through each one of them. PNG files, PNG files, PNG files, right? We could go to our favorites. I have a lot of PDFs in here because I like to make up my own stuff. Your mind map shapes, PDF file. It is not made up of PNG templates. It is, it is something I created on my computer and I uploaded to my device and I use it that way, which means that you know, if you go into if we go into mind map shapes, um, this is where some people get confused. Why can't I add the dotted page in here? Because you can't do that in the remarkable the way they've written the software. They don't allow you to do it, so it, it's just black and white. Simple as that. Even if you add a page, you go to layers, you still can't pull in any template you want in here. Can't do it. It's blank. That's it. I mean, you can add a page, which is great, right? So we added a page, there it is, but it's a blank page. It will always be a blank, blank page. What is good about that is that you can then, the T for typing comes up. So you can type, hello, there you go, close it. You can type on that inside of a PDF file. This is a PDF file. So I hope that's clear. Please ask questions. I love answering questions. I'm here to help. So um, if you need um, something that I haven't covered, please ask. That's that's great. I love that. Let me just, I like to keep these documents tidy. So I'm just going to delete, delete that. Yes, delete that page and put it back to, this is the mind map shapes. I love them. I use them a lot. I know it looks weird because I cover, I cut, I trace, you always have to trace first, and then it's there forever. You just really co copy and paste. And again, because you've got the fabulous favorites and recents, so you've got access to quite a few documents between the two of them, um, you can keep your shapes up here in your favorites and you can flick between your documents and you're able to um, use those. I use them a lot. I love org charts and visual shapes as you would have guessed <laughs> so that's it that is um they're the definitions that i use in all of my videos and so hopefully that's helpful for you but also we've gone into really the difference between pdfs and pngs which is a big deal in the remarkable ecosystem thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next video